Okay, let me check one word before we start. Um, because I have absolutely no clue how to pronounce this in English. Porcelain or porcelain. Porcelain or porcelain. I like porcelain more. As it is procedure than every year, my husband and I went to Arita Ceramics Fair. Yes, I wanted to make a vlog about Arita Ceramics Fair. And last year, it was my first time to go, so I was really thrilled and hyped all the time. So I didn't really think of putting out my camera. And this year, it was raining cats and dogs. And we were soaking wet in five minutes. And fortunately, I gave up on my idea of keep wearing a kimono. And yeah, when it's raining like crazy outside, you don't want to take your camera out. So, I thought I'm going to show you some pictures I took last year. You can also find them on my blog. And tell you some fun facts or some facts about Arita and then show you the things I got. Arita is a small town in Sako Prefecture on Kyushu. It's two and a half hour drive from Kumamoto when you go by train, it's a little faster. And they have a big ceramic fair every year during Golden Week, which is just a week with a lot of holidays in a row, which means most Japanese have five days or a week or this year because Emperor changed, we had 10 days off. Anita is very famous for its ceramics because I think 400 years ago, a Korean potter found porcelain clay in Arita. This is very, very interesting because in Japan, they didn't have porcelain clay or they thought not to have porcelain clay. They only had this kind of grayish ceramic clay, not like the really nice white porcelain clay. So that potter found it and therefore he kind of taught the people who live in the region how to use the clay and make nice porcelain out of it. As this was the first time in Japan, Arita is the birthplace of Japanese pottery. Arita is pretty amazing. It's that small old town with houses more than 300 or 400 years old. And as we had the war in Japan, or we have a lot of earthquakes and fires, um, that an old town like this is still left until today is pretty amazing. By the way, it's not only Arita which is famous for its pottery. They also have Imari, that's a town right next to Arita, and Hasami, this is a little town next to Arita in Nagasaki Prefecture. And they all come together during Golden Week and sell their stuff for a big discount. Okay, to be honest, you can get a discount throughout the year in Adita. You don't have to go during Golden Week. But during Golden Week, the center of the town will become a pedestrian area. And a lot of stores who so actually not in the center of the town come and bring their stuff there. They kind of rent old houses that are actually empty and put their stuff in there and you can go through the street and you will have so many stores with pottery and so different kinds of pottery it's just so much fun so if you're ever thinking about going to Arita I definitely 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 recommend Arita Ceramics Fair my favorite spot in Arita by the way is a shrine I forgot the name of the shrine <sighs> Why did I forget the name of the shrine? Uh, uh, ah, Suyama Chinja. Was it that one? Oh yeah, it was that one. So it's called Suyama Shrine. So this is my absolute, top, my absolutely favorite spot in Arita because I love shrines in general, but that shrine is very very special because it has a porcelain shrine gate which is called Tori which is pretty amazing I think I'm not sure but maybe this is one of the only ones in Japan I think you know most shrine gates are these red wooden big things but this one is made of porcelain amazing 
They have, by the way, porcelain everywhere in the city. So, yeah, when you go to Adi Town, just you will have so much fun there. The mountain where the first porcelain clay is found is still a tourist spot in Adita, but when you go there, there's no mountain at all because they used it all up. And I heard that the porcelain clay they use now for Adita pottery is from Amaksa, which are islands in Komoto prefecture. So for me, this makes Adita pottery even more lovely and adorable. <laughs> As I'm living in Komoto, right? Okay, today I want to show you some things I got last year and the things I got this year and I promise I will make a vlog next year and I really want to do a vlog because you have to see this. Okay, what should we start with? Maybe with things I got last year. Last year we didn't buy that much because it was our first time and we were still about to move. So yeah, we weren't really sure if you want to take all the stuff with us, how much space we're going to have here. So yeah, you can imagine. But one thing I really wanted to have as I saw it were these plates. Um, yeah, it's really nothing special, but they have this flower pattern on the edge of the plate. And they had five different flower patterns with the same color of the plate. And I love to have um, some kind of the same style of plate but in different colors or with a different pattern on it so this is just totally my style and I love the blue you will figure out I buy a lot of blue stuff I have no idea who actually made this um, I remember the shop owner to tell me that is Imari that this is actually from no, not Imani, it's from Hasami. There's a potter from Hasami made this. So this is actually Hasami pottery. And I love Hasami pottery, they have a lot of cute stuff. And we went, last year went on the last day, so we got a huge discount on this. I use these plates for salads or especially in the morning for breakfast. This is our breakfast plate. Up we got last year is this little bowl and yeah I hate Tupperware and all plastic stuff and I am recently trying to get rid of all of this because of course you have that stuff at home because it's cheap especially when you just moved from Germany to Japan you have to buy all your stuff cheap and recently we are trying to rebuy our stuff and we are not going to throw it away I give my stuff away to students from abroad who just came to Komodo and apparently need the stuff cheap. Last year I found those and I found those very cute and they're Hasami pottery as well by the way and I was kind of oh I want to have them I want to have all of them and then I thought figured yeah maybe just buy two sizes of it and when we use it a lot we could come next year again and buy them and we really use this a lot we mostly eat Japanese food at home and when you make Japanese food and you put it in there it just looks nice when you put it on the table like this and then you just close it and put it into the fridge and you can put it out for the next day and you can also use this in your microwave so I love it especially because the pattern is Seikai Ha you might remember it from my last spring kimono haul. This is actually quite about it, what we got last year. This year we went on the first day because last year I figured out when you go on the last day you get more discount than ever. But the most popular plates and pottery is already gone. So this year I really want to go for the first day because I wanted to have this tumbler. During the ceramics fair, they have an open air cafe in Arita. It's called Cafe de Arita. <laughs> oh, my French. <laughs> and yeah, they have the same paper cups in, with the same Arita pottery design. And they started to make them out of real porcelain. And they have this silicone hat for it. And I loved it 
so much and I really wanted to have one and I couldn't get one last year so this year my husband and I were kind of pretty, pretty thrilled to get this on the first day the first thing we would buy my husband got by the way a different design to have now a different design for this I love coffee and to be honest it's not good but I buy a lot of coffee in Japanese convenience stores for 100 yen I think they're pretty tasty and at least I want to reduce my trash so I think I will take this every time with me and hopefully they will allow me to fill the coffee into this cup instead of a paper cup as we speak of coffee I love coffee I don't drink too much of it because my body can't deal with all the caffeine but one or two cups a day are kind of my amount of coffee and we don't have a coffee machine and we hand drip all of our coffee and still you need a coffee filter for hand dripping it and this year while walking through the town I was suddenly stopping because I saw this ceramic coffee filter I'm gonna open the box up we used it for a few times already it's by the way all with English instructions so I think they're planning to sell this abroad and I highly recommend it I bought this set for 3000 yen I think and it comes with this filter ceramic and you get this bowl or cup to put the filter in it's made from porcelain it's adita porcelain which means it's super soft when you touch it all the stuff i have in front of me is super soft when you touch it i love how adita pottery feels when you touch it on sorry and it's by the way also super easy to clean and they at least say it in their explanation that there are some things in this pottery which makes your coffee even more tasty i don't know if it's true but um, it kind of feels like it's more tasty <laughs> but it's maybe just a placebo effect next up are again plates and there is this really famous company in adita called porcelain labo and they make gorgeous stuff and this year we found plates that wouldn't be too expensive to buy and they had 30 percent off which made it thousand yen a plate which is maybe around eight euro eight dollars so it was pretty cheap it is again with a traditional japanese pattern this one is with shippo gara which is my super favorite japanese pattern and we also have bought one with ichimatsu and we got two of each pattern and again i use this for salad and breakfast and whatever is coming up when we're eating when you ever go to Adita, please check out Porcelain Labo. You will love it. You will. It's pretty expensive though. It's really expensive. Next up isn't special at all, but for me it was just amazing because I was looking for a vase for our tokonoma of our Japanese room. You can see the flowers in the back. And I'm recently doing my best to kind of decorate it every week. Sometimes I have a kimono there. Sometimes, most of the time I have flowers there like right now sunflowers yeah i wanted to have more vases because they look pretty nice there and i exactly wanted this kind of vase and when i saw it it was just kind of this lucky found oh i like this vase i went over there and asked how much and he said yeah it's a thousand yen okay we're gonna buy it but <laughs> there is water coming through this vase when i put it into our top on our and I try to fix this by kind of gluing all the bottom and this didn't work out. I kind of did some research on the internet um, that you could put nail polish on it and it will fix it. I don't do my nails, so I don't have nail polish and I really don't wanna buy it because I would have to throw it away. As the glue experiment didn't work out, I think I give it a try with the nail polish and I just try to get nail polish in the near future 
The next thing we got wasn't actually something we bought at the ceramics fair. By the way, the stuff they put at the ceramics fair is most of the time things they wouldn't sell anymore or things with a little tiny spot somewhere and they couldn't sell it and they just put it there cheaper. Sometimes they have totally new stuff there, but most of the time it's kind of like the B selection of their lineup. We actually planned to get socket casing and it didn't have the design we wanted there. We would have to order it and they would make it and then send to us, which means I would have to pay for them sending it to us and I would have to pay full price. So I thought, so why not ordering online after the ceramics fair? And yes, I ordered them online during the ceramics fair. <laughs> and it also came in this box, which says Aritayaki, which is Japanese for Arita Pottery. I'm so sorry. I already put most of them on our walls because I just couldn't wait. <laughs> so this is the last one I kept for this video. Yeah, it's just a normal socket casing. Nothing special, but it's made out of pottery. This is the socket casing we got for our bedroom because the bedroom wall is blue. It's more like a blackish blue, not like this pretty nice blue, but you can really tell and it still looks pretty nice and it looks way better than the white plastic socket casings. You can maybe tell that we have too many walls in our Japanese room, so I didn't have many walls to choose from where I put sockets or switches. So unfortunately, they're all in our tokonoma. And I really didn't like the white plastic socket casings on the red wall. So I bought this so, so beautiful porcelain socket casings. And you can see it's white with red ornaments on it. It's just perfect for our Japanese room. I really love the purple and golden details. And this flower pattern really reminds me of kimono. The socket casings, all in all, I got five of them and they are pretty, pretty, pretty expensive. I won't have more in my house because I want to get rid of all plastic casings. Maybe in the upcoming few years we will have more of those at home. And the last plates I got are my super favorite forever and ever. And I really, really have to stop myself from not buying too much and have a collection because they are so precious to me, so I don't really use them. And these are those kimono plates. You might have seen them on my Instagram because I'm so madly in love with them since last year. I don't know where the plates are actually made, but they give those plates to very famous potters and they paint the pattern on it and depending on how popular the potter is the more expensive is a plate of it. I think the most expensive plate I got was for about 5200 yen so it's about 50 dollars or 50 euros. That's it worth. By the way the shop for this plate is called 2423. Um, I put their Instagram in the description box and check it out and the plates itself have their own Instagram account, which is called MS Gofukuten. So if you love them, you can see so much more designs on their Instagram. This is not sponsored, by the way, just love it. Next year, I see me ending up with buying two other kimono plates, but this is definitely the amount where I'm gonna stop. When we have six guests and I have my husband and me there, we need eight plates. And I think that's a realistic number of plates. Okay, I hope. This video was not too boring for you, but as I could tell from my Instagram messages, a lot of people actually are interested in kimono and Japanese pottery because both of that is Japanese art. If you ever come to Arita, don't hesitate to also take a look at Komodo, it's not that far. Feel always free to subscribe and not to miss my Arita Ceramics Fair vlog I'm definitely gonna make next year, I promise. And I talk to you in my next video. Bye.